The four and one Bills take on the three and two Titans tonight in Tennessee for Monday Night Football. This short is brought to you by FootballGuys.com. The Bills are leading the NFL in both scoring offense and scoring defense right now. They're averaging about 34.4 points on offense per game and only allowing about 13 points per game on average. The Titans, on the other hand, is 24th in scoring defense this season, 26 in yards per rushing attempt. It's going to be a great matchup tonight. It is another stop on the Bills' revenge tour. The Titans embarrassed the Bills last season in prime time, so we'll see how they perform tonight. Let's start with the fantasy impact for quarterbacks. Of course, Josh Allen is in your lineup tonight. I'm replaying the video of him hurdling yet another defender last weekend to pump me up for tonight's matchup. He's averaging about three passing touchdowns per game over the last three weeks. He's usually good for another on the ground, and we'll see what he does tonight against these Titans. He's the QB9 on the season in total fantasy points before tonight's game is even played. Tan Hill on the other side of the ball, only QB20 on the season. He's yet to score 22 points in a game all season. He's averaging about 17 points per game right now. Certainly not as efficient as last season. Understandable with these injuries to his receiving core. He'll be forced to throw the ball to keep up with this high-powered Bills offense, but it's worth noting the Bills defense is giving up the least amount of points in the league to the quarterback position, so my my expectations tonight for Tannehill are tempered a little bit. Let's take a look at footballguys.com, take a look at our snap count summary and our target share tools over there. We're going to take a look at this for the Bills wide receivers first tonight. The Titans defense is giving up the most PPR points to wide receivers per game at almost 48 points per game. Their secondary is bottom 10 and past DVOA. Stefan Diggs, let's talk about him. Only wide receiver 25 through the first five weeks. I think he sees the second touchdown tonight. He's not killing you in your lineups. He's certainly not getting the target share we expected from last season's vendor. But Emmanuel Sanders is the surprise for the Bills. Wide receiver 20 through the first five weeks has had 20 or more PPR points in his last two of three games, four touchdowns in the last three weeks. You're playing Diggs as a high-end wide receiver one and Sanders as a high-end wide receiver two. But it's worth noting these snap counts for Cole Beasley and Gabe Davis have gone down significantly since week one of the season with Dawson Knox tight end emerging as well. It's just a fantasy pie for the Bills. It's getting more and more difficult to predict. But these tools on footballguys.com, the snap counts and the target share are the best predictor for performance here. So these are awesome tools to use. On the other side of the ball for the Titans, A.J. Brown and Julio have been very underwhelming. For fantasy purposes, this season, Brown is wide receiver 78 and Jones wide receiver 75. Relative to where you drafted them, that's not great, Bob. I mean, A.J. Brown also added to the injury report with an illness over the weekend and is questionable. Let's take a look at this video that came out recently that he may scare some some fantasy managers off with this. I want to be out there every snap. I know I'm not, I'm not there yet. Uh, better come uh, like week 10. I'm playing the whole game. <laughs> Um, but because they because they won't allow me, that's just because they won't allow me. Either. So, uh, but whenever, whenever I'm in there, I gotta do it. So, he's saying that the Tennessee Titans are not allowing him to play a full snap share, so that's a little concerning. I am start, still starting him tonight, and Julio in, in is in your lineup with Buffalo's defense on a tear lately. It's tough to predict their performance, but the Titans are going to need to throw to keep up, and somebody's got to be the beneficiary, and that's going to be A.J. Brown and Julio Jones. For the running back position, of course, Derrick Henry is in your lineup, the running back one overall through the first five weeks, of course, pending tonight's performance. But this Buffalo defense, rushing defense, is much improved compared to last year, only allowing the third least amount of points to the running back position. But if the Titans want to stay in this game, they want to keep it competitive, Derrick Henry will be the key to keeping the Bills' defense honest tonight, allow for a more balanced offense for them, so look for him to be very involved tonight. On the other side of the ball, the Tennessee defense is actually pretty formidable against the rushing attack, only allowing the 13th least amount of points to the position. I still think we see the Bills try to win this game through the air. They can likely attack through the air better than they can on the ground. But Zach Moss, running back 25 overall on this season, he's had a nice floor of about 12 PPR points per game since week two, so he's a safe lower-end RB2 tonight. I'm only playing Devin Singletary if you're in a desperate spot with these bye weeks starting this week, but I'd keep your expectations low there. Dawson Knox has emerged in his breakout year three. He's averaging six targets and 18.8 points per game since week three. The tight end three overall in the season through five weeks 
It's worth noting, though, Tennessee is third best against fantasy tight ends, but Dawson Knox has a safe target for share and a safe floor with PPR points with the amount that the Bills throw. He's become a set it and forget a tight end. Awesome to see. On the other side of the ball for Tennessee, I don't think you're looking to play any of their tight ends tonight. If you are, I would try to avoid at all costs. Be sure to check out our tools here at footballguys.com. Make sure you're looking at our new shorts video series. We have a five-minute video that comes out almost every day on relevant fantasy impacts of the game's player profiles. Also, make sure to check out all of our awesome podcasts, the Audible, the Dynasty Newsletter, and, of course, you can catch myself, Dave, and Troy on the Mailbag Show every single Wednesday. Of course, all of our other wonderful pods throughout the week are updated uh, on a weekly basis. Make sure you check those out. Thank you so much for listening, and good luck with your matchup tonight.